So the other day I uploaded a YouTube video which was an advert for a coffee brand. It was only a spec piece, it wasn't an actual advert. But today I just wanted to break that down, look at the pre-production process and sort of walk through it and try and see how close it actually is to what I had initially planned. Cool, so getting straight into it. So these shots, basically, I just kind of set them up in and around the trees, kind of manual focused where I thought that I'd be walking. And then I just did a few takes walking back and forward. I've probably got about 10 different angles, but these are the ones that kind of suited best. So what I did there, those quick little cuts, I really wanted to emphasize sound design on this video. So I thought, how can I sort of get into the coffee brewing um, in a quick way? Sort of, I've not got any boiling water at this point, obviously. So yeah, just the match, the kettle, the filter sound. I thought that sort of led us quite nicely into making the actual coffee. And um, I think it was quite a nice way to break up the song as well. Um, and then, yeah, I've actually cut the song up uh, just so it kind of comes in really nicely on this wide shot. And just these shots like of the actual brewing of the coffee, I think I ended up doing about five or six different angles of this. Um, and then in the edit, I was able to choose which ones I prefer, which ones go together nicely. I didn't want too many wides or close-ups all together. So yeah, it was quite nice having loads of different angles. Then in the edit, I can just pick the best ones. Sorry, I keep pausing it. I'm sorry if that's annoying. That little bit where I drop it on the table and it makes that little noise. I've like purposely moved the music around just so it kind of pops back in on this shot of me staring down your face. Just had to put that hipster stereotype in there, the old film camera. It's kind of funny I'm kind of playing on a stereotype here, but genuinely kind of a nice photo, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of subtle there, but I've just put in a really slow pan in on those last two shots. I just felt I needed something to give it a bit of movement. Um, obviously this entire film is shot on tripod so I just feel like it needed a little bit of movement because it was getting a little static and I just think that little bit of pan in just helps loads. Um, cool so we're now into the last bit. Yeah so I've then found my place to sit and have my coffee and uh, yeah even with the product shot at the end I kind of wanted to round out the film um, so you can see me in the background I've got to the location where I'm finally enjoying the coffee and um, yeah I kind of like the framing on this one that was a, a deliberate choice I wanted to sort of use rule of thirds um, and sort of have me completely out of focus and then all the focus on the product um, but kind of tying into what you've just watched for the last minute. So yeah, I think that works kind of well. And I've put the tagline at the end there. I just kind of felt that it needed something to sort of just push the reason of the, of the film. Um, obviously it's all about really going over the top in enjoying the process of making the coffee. And I just kind of felt it sat right. I used this last shot which is actually the aftermath of me walking past the camera. Um, but I've just had enough there uh, so I can lay some text down. And um, yeah, I think it tops off the film quite nicely. All right, so I'm now jumping into Miller Note, which is what I use to plan all of my films. It's kind of like a board where you can put in links to videos, photos, you can just write into your heart's content. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where I come up with my plans. I've got a storyboard that I made for this. 
Um, but yeah, there's a few things that I'll go through. So over here, I've kind of got the general summary of what I'm going to be trying to do. I've then got a few shots that kind of came to me and I just thought I need to write them down before I forget. Um, and then I kind of take them into the storyboard. And linked in here as well, I've actually got a video that kind of sparked the idea for it. Um, it's like a cooking video uh, done out in the woods. I think it's an avocado advert. So I kind of watched that and then kind of thought this could work quite well with coffee. I'd been wanting to make a coffee advert for a little while, so yeah, I kind of saw that, saw this guy in the woods being really over the top with his cooking, and I thought, yeah, that worked quite well with coffee. And then over here, I've got the time of day and the location that I'm gonna go film at. Um, I'd chosen 3 p.m. till about 7 p.m. just because I wanted the light to soften a little bit. I wanted to get a bit of golden hour in there as well, so that's why I chose to shoot a bit later in the day. And then I've got the gear that I needed as well, so I've just listed the camera, the lenses, uh, any accessories, and I've also got the props, so the Chemex, the paper filters, the hot water that I need to take in a flask, because I didn't actually boil any water there. Um, so yeah, it's quite good to have this in the board, and I can sort of just check it before I go and make sure that I've not forgotten any equipment. And it's quite cool as well that there's an app for this, so you can just go on your phone when you're on the shoot, you can check all of the props that you need. You can check the storyboard. You can look at mood boards, anything like that. It's really, really handy. And then just going into the storyboard here. These are kind of all the reference photos that I've grabbed from different films. Um, Unsplash, I get free photos from there. Um, but yeah, just sort of draw over them and sort of work out what I want to do shot for shot. I've written a little bit underneath them, which just kind of helps prompt me if I kind of forget what I'm going for. Um, but I would say looking at this that I've pretty much followed it down to a T. I think there's probably a bit more here than what actually made it into the final edit. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy that I kind of went into this process because I think in the past I would have turned up in the woods, been a bit clueless and just shot randomly. So I'm pretty happy I actually planned this one and pretty much stuck to it all the way. The microphone that I had on top actually recorded probably 80% of all the sounds that you hear in the video. Um, it recorded a lot of really nice ambient sounds, so birds singing and things like that. And it also was really good on the close-ups because it kind of got the water going around the coffee filter. So yeah, I would say if you don't already shoot everything with a mic on top, definitely start because some of that audio was just absolutely spot on. The wooden desk that is literally just from my house and just stole it on the day. Um, it looks a little weird, but I think I kind of got away with it. Apart from obviously the camera and the coffee, I would say that one of the most important things on the shoot was actually the reflector. Uh, we used the gold side quite a lot to give that kind of warm, dreamy look. Um, and yeah, just generally every shot we had it propped up, just kind of using the light around us to put it back into my face, I guess. Um, sometimes the sun would go in a little bit and we'd really have to get the best out of what we had to work with. So yeah, reflector, definitely a good addition if you're not really using one. So that's pretty much it to be honest. I hope you enjoyed seeing what goes into making a film like this and seeing the pre-production side of things um, and how I kind of come up with the ideas for it. I'll leave you with a mashup of a load of behind the scenes footage that we got and uh, yeah, maybe I'll make more stuff like this in the future when I make similar adverts. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Cheers.